Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, um, I've been getting uh, some messages from guys on YouTube and some of the guys in FEOA about have I installed these rocker arms yet and do they hit the valve cover? So, um, I turned it over by hand. I installed two at a time. And I, you know, and I installed two, turned the motor over with the valve cover on it, installed two, you know, turn the motor over with the valve cover installed to et cetera, et cetera, and so on. So I basically did that by hand. And then I just, I just tried to fire it up just now and the battery was dead, of course. So, um, you know, I just got, I got a few revolutions out of it, but so far there are no mount marks on these rockers from them hitting the valve cover. I don't see any at all. Um, and if you're looking at like this right here, like that little rub, it's like that on all of them. That's how they came in the pack. So don't think, hey, look, they're rubbing right there. No, that's how they all came in the pack. I looked at that before I even installed them. So, but yeah, I have not had any, I have not had these things rub the valve cover yet. Now, in running mode and getting it warm, I haven't had that. I have not had a chance to do that yet, but I will. Um, I have to take the battery home tonight, charge it, and I'll probably come back like tomorrow or something and see if I can get this thing to fire up and uh, run with these uh, rocker arms on there. So um, we can see if they hit this valve cover or not, because uh, I, I keep hearing people saying, oh, they're rubbing the valve cover, they're hitting the valve cover, have you installed them yet? And all this. So. I don't know yet. So far, they have not hit this valve cover. I've spun it over by hand, you know, and like I said, I haven't got any marks from them touching the valve cover at all. Um, you know, so some of the lifters aren't fully pumped up either. So, I mean, we have to really see when this thing gets up the oil pressure and find out, you know, what we got when we, you know, when we go on, um, find out what we got when we get there. So I just wanted to make this real quick video for the guys that were asking me about have I installed these valve, have I installed these uh, rock arms yet? And yes, I have. Um, and so far, spinning it over by hand and then turning the motor over by the key, um, I got a, you know, I got about 20 or 30 revolutions out of it, you know, um, with the battery, of course, is dead, like I said. Um, maybe not 20 or 30, maybe like 10 or 15. I'm kind of over exaggerating about that one. But, um, 20, shoot, 20 or 30, that thing should have been running. But, um, that was my mistake. But, uh, but yeah, this is for the guys that were asking me about these. And like I said, I haven't seen any signs of them touching yet. So, I'm um, just letting you see this real quick. So, uh, yeah, I don't see any signs of them touching anything yet. So, when I get this thing running... I will um, see if I can't do a, a video, but it's going to be pretty loud because, of course, I got my downpipe open. So I'll uh, run this thing, run it, and then I'll check the rocker arms to see if there are any marks on them. Because if it's rubbing the valve cover, guess what? It's going to rub this nice. Um, it's going to rub this nice finish off of here. It's going to rub this nice finish off. This nice copper finish that they put on here. It's going to rub that finish off wherever it's touching that valve cover so um paying close attention to this because like i said i just keep hearing rumors about them touching the valve cover so i'm um, uh i've installed them like i said i've turned it over by hand i've turned it over the key so far they have not touched the valve cover so the last thing i got to do is actually run the engine so once i run the engine then i'll know for sure then so but like i said so far there's nothing touching. So, and that's what the valve cover looks like. If anybody's wondering, that's the inside of the valve cover for a SCFI 1.9 um, CVH. That's the inside of the valve cover. So, so just wanted to make this quick video, for you guys, and to show y'all I haven't gotten any rub uh, indentations yet. So, um, and one more thing. So, you notice that these are Allen heads. Excuse me. All these are Allen heads, right? Okay. 
Those Allen heads take a number six Allen socket. Number six. You can get these, and these are Pittsburgh. You can get these at Harbor Freight. I got, a, I bought a set of them a while back. And uh, yeah, there's a number six, number six, uh, number six Allen. So make sure you get the right size. You don't want to get the one that's too small. Get them in there, and then of course, you know this thing, that thing starts spinning and round the dangle Allen head, and you're in trouble. So, yep, takes a number six Allen. It says a, a number six. If you get this from Harbor Freight, it's number six, and then it's SR2. I mean, sorry, S2 CRV Pittsburgh. And that's what I'm using right now. And that's the one that fits. So remember, number six Allen. Number six. Doesn't have to be a Pittsburgh. You can go anywhere and get an Allen set. But make sure you got a number six in there. Or you can just go buy the number six for this particular job. Because that's what it takes, a number six. So there you go with that. Now... On the Sharp sends their bolts in this box right here, okay? I want everybody to pay close attention to this because everybody's so quick to blame the products when things go wrong and when things fail. Nobody listens to what the manufacturers tell them when they buy their products. They just install them and it is what it is and something happens. Then they're quick to bring the product and the maker and all that. Now... I didn't even see this when I opened this pack up, but they actually put the torque spec of the bolts on the box. So 22 foot pounds on the bolts, no more, no less, 22 foot pounds. Um, you know, I'm real meticulous when it comes to parts like that, you know, and when people specify what you are supposed to tighten their bolts down to please go by that because if you go past this you could have a problem if you go under this you could have a problem so you know this motor spinning my motor will be spinning 6500 um some cbhs spin even higher you know what i'm saying so but just please when you buy these rocker arms this is the bolt box this is the box that the bolts come in they are going to have this written on there, 22 foot pounds on the bolts. Now this is for, this is for a U.S. head. You know, these are for U.S. You know, U.S. head, of course, one nine U.S. head. So it could be different for for the studs. The studs could have a different torque spec. They might be a little bit higher just because they're studs. Because you, I think, I believe the 1.6 liter heads are studs. Um, the, uh, the, of course, the U.K. head has studs. So the U.S. head has bolts. And the UK heads have studs. So, like I said, this right here is very important. 22 foot-pounds on the bolts. No more, no less. And for the UK heads, they got studs in them. So, like I said, that torque spec could be a lot higher by them having um, studs instead of bolts. So, there you have it. It's just like ARP. It's like ARP studs and nuts actually have a higher torque spec than bolts you know what i'm saying because the nut in the stud actually holds tighter than the bolt does so so i just wanted to let everybody know about this i haven't got any rub marks yet on these um i have not got any rub marks yet on those rocker arms those harlan sharp rocker arms that are in there now that i installed but Make sure you tighten those bolts down to 22 foot pounds on those bolts, no more, no less. And make sure that you have a number six, number six Allen, number six. That's a number six Allen socket. So thank you guys for watching. I definitely wanted to get on here and let y'all know about this because I've been asked about it time and time again. So I finally got to this point where I got the rocker arms on the motor. Um, on, I mean, I'm sorry, on the, you know, in the head and bolted down and everything torqued down. So we're going to see one day this week. I'm going to fire it up and see, you know, how it runs. And if this thing touches, these rocker arms touch this cylinder head. So we're going to see. So thanks again for everybody tuning in. 
And one more time, 22 foot pounds on the bolts. And number six on your torque, on your Allen, Allen socket, number six. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.